Okay, so till now we have seen the types of a, um, ELBs, elastic load balancers inside AWS. Now it's time to do some hands-on. We will start with the hands-on um, practice on the uh, classic load balancer. The classic load balancer is the simplest one because you don't deal with uh, something called as the target groups. We just um, directly attach the instances with the load balancer. So first of all, I would create a multiple load uh, EC2 instances so that we can do a load balancing and i will spin up those east two instances uh, with some user data which would um, basically initialize the http services on those okay so let me go to my instances and now here i'll create a launch in instance launch an instance now I will launch this as HTTP server one because I'm going to have multiple servers. Um, so this is my Amazon um, uh, Linux AMI image, um, which is a free tier eligible. So you also select the same and uh, T2 micro, which is again a free tier eligible. Now I should have a key pair which is downloaded. So I have this zap key P or you can create a new one. So I will select this now. For the network settings, I need to go inside and I will keep the default VPC and the subnet with no preferences, or I can uh, manually set this to be on um, different AZ. So uh, let's keep one at um, US East 1C, and then I will enable the public uh, uh, IP assignment, and then I will select a existing uh, security group if I have one. Yeah, I have the SSH and HTTP. I need these two. I will click on that. Uh, or you can create a new one, right? And then um, let me show you the security group actually. Uh, security group, if I go there, and you should see the um, SSH HTTP group, right? So if I go here into the security groups, and then you will see um, this one. So this is the one, and I will show you the inbound rules, which has the SSH. Uh, allowed from anywhere and uh, HTTP allowed from anywhere. That's it. Those two only traffic, right? And then I will, uh, uh, I don't need the, uh, I mean, the hard disk is 8 GB is fine. I will go to the advanced because I have to select the, uh, I will scroll down and I'll select the user data. This is where you run a script and uh, basically run the uh, commands to enable the um, HTTP. So, so this is the command. I will paste it in the uh, description. You can also use this. I will paste it here and then I will just say launch instance. So now we have to wait for the status checks to be completed and initialized, right? So it's still in initializing state. Now let me refresh and maybe okay, it'll take some time. These are checks which the um, the AWS infrastructure does um, by default, like um, reachability test and those it should be um, the other two checks so this should be like two by two in a green so let's wait for this um, and apart from that I have to again create another HTTP server which should be so this in AZ1C East 1C so I'll create the, uh, the second server in a different AZ so let's launch that as well right so let's say this is HTTP um, server 2 uh, with the same configs, a Amazon Linux uh, 2 AMI, T2, let's have the same. I mean, I don't need this. I don't want to SSH to the system, but yeah, just to um, show you. So I'll, I'll keep this as um, the subnet as uh, US1, uh, USB uh, East 1B. So this is a different AZ. I'll select the security group, um, same security group. And again, the um, user data, paste it here. and. I will launch the instance. Okay, so now let's have a look at both the instances. Uh, what's the status on them? And I basically want to check the HTTP services are running or not. And then we can go and create the uh, classic load balancer. Now classic load balancer, as I said, is different uh, because it will not work with the TG. It will, uh, you have to directly attach the instances onto the, um, uh, load balancer so you will uh, take the instance id and attach those uh, on the back of the uh, classic load balancer so let me refresh this okay let's um 
wait for this to complete and then we will test the um, web browser uh, web services sorry okay for the http um, server one the um, uh, status check has been completed so i'll go to this one and uh, copy the uh, ip and i will http to that that one right oh let me copy that again and paste it here and yeah so this is working right this is my public um, web server a uh, web server and this is the web page that i can see on this public address now instead of uh, launching this on the directly on the public ip right i want a load balancer to um, basically um, balance the load between the servers so i have instead of running one web server i have two web servers and the load balancer which is will be in this case a classic load balancer um, i will uh, use the classic load balancer to um, balance the traffic on both the servers so i'll go to the is inside ec2 instance uh, on the left side of the pane you will see load balancing section and go to click on the load balancers when you go to this um, initially you will have nothing inside because you have to create one so i'll click on create now you will see three options here uh, but as i said there are four options but one will be um, uh, uh, one will be hidden here so you have to expand because aws uh, doesn't want you to use this as of now because you have better options here nlb alb and gwlb but still i will show you what is the difference so you will go to classic load balancer and you will create this select on create now it will ask you for the um, load balancer name so i'll say clb demo all right and the vpc you want to launch this in in is my default vpc because i don't have any um other vpcs created okay if you have that vpc you have to select that vpc the new vpc whatever you want then you have the create an internal load balancer if you don't want this to be up on the public side you can um, click here and then it will have a uh, uh, you can place this in the internal network with a private ip uh now this is a uh, vpc advanced configuration i don't want to um, uh, make you confused because you have you, i'm not touch the vpc part yet so i'll just leave it unchecked now here is where you um select the listeners so these are the listeners listener port that your um classic load balancer will be listening on the public side right so i'll be um using uh, it, um, these are the uh, ports uh, i mean protocol that i can use as um, you see in the, in the slide http https tcp any port if you have a custom port you can mention that right here and then you have the ssl so i'll go for http right now because um i then have to deal with the certificates and all and i will get some errors uh, so i don't want to use that just for demo purpose let's use http so i'll keep it like that if you want to add multiple you can use it like this right so that's done now you want you have to assign an um, um i mean sg security group to this right so i can create one for the sg itself so that i can show you how to secure the um instance right so i'll allow only um http on this because i'm listening on the http only right so you have to be granular on this okay um so i can say clb um sg like uh, something like this and then next okay and then next configure health check now uh, for the health check it will do a http ping on port 80 to the path of this on the backend servers okay so i have this indexed html and i'm running http services on my so you should it should be running those services right and then i can go and hit next now here you have directly options for the instances okay so i will uh, first select the um, ec2 instance uh, uh, server number one okay and you can enable cross zone load balance because you have this one different easies right so this one is in us east 1c but later on i'll add 1b as well okay and connection training as well i will show you uh, i mean i will explain to you what connection training is in the future videos now you can next hit, hit next and add some tags so i'll say um something else like that team um team is like demo something like that uh you can have any tag um and that's it this is the review what you did and now you have to click on create now you will wait for the clb to initiate uh, initialize and then after some time what will happen is you will get a um, dns name yeah this one so you can just copy this dns name record and then um, browse it on the web and it should um, basically do what 
uh, it should uh, take you to this page. But when um, initially we will have only this IP on the same uh, uh, DNS name, but when you add two of them or three of them, then you will have a load balancing between the servers. Now you have different options to control the load balancing, but still you can see the, uh, the description of this uh, classic load balancer. You can see the name, the DNS name, the type, which is classic and you can migrate it because in AWS wants you to be on the new generation, newer generation load balancer, right? So you have the option to migrate and then the schema is it internet spacing or internal and then the AZs you have the uh, so any EC2 instance inside all the, these AZs would be visible um, in the uh, target here. Right. As of now, we have only two. So that's why I can see only two instances. Now we have the creation date and host name, host zone and status. Um, so zero of one instance in service. Um, that means the health checks has not been completed su successfully. The VPC and the port configurations, what you are doing on the port, right? You can uh, do a stickiness, uh, which I will um, explain to you later. Um, stickiness is when you want to uh, stick to a particular backend server for that session, right? Um, and the SG and the attributes, you can just look into it here. Now, uh, what I'm um, interested in, in the health check. So I need, um, this is the option for health check, what you have done here. Now I can go to the instances that I've added here, right? Uh, so I can see that this instance is been added and is in service. Now you can remove it from here. And these are the easies that um, this in, uh, 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 this classic load balancer has the visibility to. And then you have one um, instance in the in this AZ US East one C. Yeah, health check is available now. Now what we can do is you have the listeners. You can uh, as initially I have only configured eighty. You can edit here and add more if you want later. And then the monitoring this will um, have metrics from the CloudWatch. Okay, tags the same. I added team and demo, and then you can migrate it to um, ALB. Yeah. Uh, good to know. Now uh, I will click copy this A record a DNS name and go to this page. It should be the same page as this one. Enter and and that this is the magic. So you actually access the classic load balancer, but it is throwing the traffic to the backend server, which is in this case, you have only one. Now let's go and add the second one to this, right? So I'll go here and we will go to the instances and now you can um, go and add the instances here, right? So you will go to the edit. Um, this is for the connect connection training, sorry. Um, now you can do an edit instance and you can select the second one and save. Now this will again take some time uh, for this to be in service. Once the health check is completed successfully, you need to have the services running on that. Now for the health check, you know what you did. You did a HTTP ping. So remember your HTTP, uh, that traffic uh, or the put protocol on port on that uh, backend server should be running so that the health check is successful. Only then the um, CLB is going to forward the traffic to that particular backend server. Now let's go to the instance and wait for some time. It should be in service. Now it is in service. Now let's go and refresh this one and it should uh, do a load balancing. Now you can see it's a round robin one to the server one, one to the server two, server one, server two, server one, server two, right? Uh, but the problem here is uh, uh, I mean, you can control the load balancing. That is a different um, um, section. Now, the the problem here is I can directly reach from the public IP as well as from the load balancer IP. Now, in in order to com con I mean control this, you have an option to um, filter this from the security group of the um, of the EC2 instance, right? So that's why I added different different EC2 instance for the CLB as well as for the uh, is two instances. So now if I go back to my console here and this was server one, now let's go to server two, copy the public IP. If I go here and do HTTP colon slash slash and this, and I'm able to go directly, which you should not be. It should be only the classic load balancer DNS name, which you will add to the A record uh, on any um, something like GoDaddy and something. Um, then your customer or client should be able to um, access your web browser, web uh, page, right? Uh, so in order to stop this, what you do, you play around with the security group. Now you have to go to the security group of the EC2 instance, which is, if you remember that, if you don't remember, I mean, I do remember, but if you don't remember, you can scroll down like this in the 
details scroll 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 down and you should see the sorry in the security not here uh, here you can see the key pair now here you can see the security you can just click on this it will take you to the security group directly now you can edit the uh, security group inbound rules now i will say i will want to add uh, say i want to add all um, tcp from my security group which is um, the clb right and i will delete both this so i want to allow any tcp connection from my only the classic load balancer now uh, once this is i mean this is um, immediately in effect if i go and refresh this one this is not going to work now you can see it's just going round and round this is because of the security whenever you see such um, things you will um, you have to know that this is because of the security group in action so if i do this also it is going to fail now but i if i do this this is going to work right so that is how you do the uh, filtering of the traffic right now it is not this is not going to work then this is how it should be right so cool so this is all about the classic load balancer and how it works so you need to go um in your ec2 um, amazon console and then practice this uh, to better understand you need to play around with the settings and the features so this is the simplest one wherein you go and add the ec2 instances directly to the load balancer right so in order to save yourself from the bills i will go and terminate this these EC2 instances and also my classic load balancer, uh, which is here. Now, security groups will not be charged. Um, yeah, but I can go here and I will say delete the load balancer. Uh, that's done. And um, okay, so that's it for the classic load balancer demo. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Thank you.